Something else in the news. Yeah. Something else in the news is everything happening with the NFL. And Jesse Williams is this actor on Grey's Anatomy. He's also an activist. And he was talking to, was it a sports commentator? On, he, oh, yeah, he was, he was talking to Thomas, Thomas Roberts on MSNBC. And he was saying that um, the national anthem is a scam. Listen to this, and I want to get your reaction. Sure. This anthem thing is a scam. This is not actually part of football. This was invented in 2009 as right. from the government to paying the NFL to market military recruitment to get more people to go off and fight wars to die. This is not, has nothing to do with NFL or American pastime or tradition. This is to get bo boys and girls to go fly overseas and go kill people. That's right. Whitney wow. Houston sang the national anthem in 2009. Oops, I don't think so. What's he talking about? You know, if we could only all live in this Hollywood utopia that all of these, uh, you know, these, these pseudo-intellectual Hollywood types do. I mean, are they serious? Do they really think we live in a world where, where grown, responsible, brave men don't have to do violence to preserve pre freedom and liberty? I mean, what planet does this clown live on? Is this guy serious that the national anthem in the beginning of a game, a symbol of national solidarity for the greatest country in the history of mankind, is this joker serious that this is some kind of a scam? You know what's a scam? Hollywood continuing to take our money while they crap all over Americans who give their hard-earned money to watch these people entertain us and then turn around the very next day and call us all deplorables, idiots, and they make fun of us all the time. I'm tired of these guys. You know, when I go in to see my doctor, I don't ask him for his opinion on politics. He's a lot smarter than <laughs> Jesse Williams, who's a fake doctor on TV. We really don't care about your opinion, Jesse. Clam up and go entertain us for a living. That's well, what you do. Well, if I want to hear your political opinion, Opinion, we'll give it to you. Keep quiet from now on. A scam. Is this guy serious? What well, a joke. Dan, Dan uh, the president got this started on Friday night. He was at a rally for Luther Strange down in Alabama, and he said, you know, uh, the owner should fire the players who don't stand for the national anthem. The president has just sent out two tweets in the last 10 minutes. The first one is, many people booed the players who kneeled yesterday, which was a small percentage of total. These are fans who demand respect for our flag. He also went on to say that NASCAR had it right. Uh, they're, the drivers in NASCAR will stand for the national anthem. Your thoughts? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I was thinking as this happened yesterday, this disgrace on foreign soil, NFL athletes in London humiliating the United States on foreign soil while simultaneously standing for God save the Queen. And I thought to myself, you know, the last time young men traveled in that direction, uh, back during World War II, right across the channel, you know, they were storming the beaches to try to save the world from fascism. Mm -hmm. You know, what a disgrace. I mean, think about those men in those boats who are getting ready to hit the shores while German gunfire was strafing them and likely to wipe out the first two lines of men as they watch people dying in front of them. Those are the brave men and women that fought for your ability to make tens of millions of dollars as you traveled in that direction to go play a game for a living. Show some respect. I get it. The United States isn't perfect. You have every right to protest. You have every right to free speech and will passionately defend it. But you don't have the right to be an idiot. And kneeling on foreign soil and disrespecting our country while simultaneously respecting the country you're there, showing everybody how much you hate America yeah. is really an embarrassment. These guys should be humiliated. Uh, by the way, that's the country we uh, we actually fought to get rid of, and that was Britain, their domination. <laughs> so we stand for their national anthem and sit for hours. So yesterday it was revealed, or excuse me, over the weekend it was revealed that Jimmy Kimmel's approach to attacking the Republican plan for health care was to go after Senator Cassidy personally and some other people, but also he was coached by Chuck Schumer through the entire process. So he gave him his talking points on late night television. What's your reaction to that? Yeah, you know, I, this has really been on my mind lately. And my, my sympathies are genuinely with Jimmy Kimmel. He's going through an awful situation with his child that everyone on the show, you, know, you, oh, you and I, we have kids. It, it would be horrendous. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. But here's the problem, guys. Jimmy Kimmel has a responsibility using his platform to tell people the truth and not engage in propaganda. And he keeps saying things like government spending and cutting government spending, and this is going to hurt Americans. Well, he never tells people about all the damage government spending in medicine has done to the healthcare market. And you know why he hasn't done it? Because he just doesn't know. He hasn't done the proper research on the material to go out there and speak about it intelligently. And I'm really angry because people believe Jimmy Kimmel and they trust him. And frankly, sadly, he just doesn't know what he's talking about. And again, I say that with all due sympathies towards this situation. It's a terrible situation he's in. But right. that doesn't make him right. That but makes I mean, him propaganda. But you know what's also bad? 
People that was told they can keep their doctor because they had a relationship with their doctor and they couldn't. People they want were told yeah. they by the president, uh, President Obama, for over a year they can keep their plan if they wanted to. They were told their money was going to go down. That it was going to save the average family twenty-two hundred dollars. The CBO said it was going to save us money. All of those things proved untrue. So if he led with that, well, this is how disappointing Obamacare is, and this is why I think it's worse. And didn't even pick up the phone to call Cassidy, who wrote it. And they evidently had somewhat of a friendship or a relationship. That was the unevenness of it. Yeah, I mean, where was Jimmy Kimmel when 10 million Americans, hardworking Americans, who, you know, don't have tens of millions of dollars to backstop their income like he does? Where was he when they had their insurance plans canceled? Where is it? Where was he as their wallets shrunk up because they're playing double digit premium hikes? I mean, this is really grossly irresponsible to use your platform to tell a one sided story. And even worse, getting your talking points from Chuck Schumer. I mean, seriously. I mean, Chuck Schumer, the, the, the most hyper partisan Democrat outside of Nancy Pelosi up on the Hill right now, totally. Totally, completely irresponsible. You deserve better than that. All right. Always a pleasure. Dan Bongino, thank you very much for thank joining you, us live from Florida. Thanks, guys.